right, my friends, welcome back. April 11th, 2023, and I hope you're not getting too bored of the sun because there's a lot going on that we need to discuss. And we're going to start right here on one of the Lasco cams. Beginning on April 9th is when we started seeing these M-Class solar flares. And now we've had three. Basically, every 24 hours leading up to today, we've had some pretty significant situations taking place on the sun. Now, take a look at your screen. Right there was the 9th, a very big blast coming off the right side of the sun here this just gives you an idea of just how powerful our sun really is and the size of these explosions you could literally fit thousands of earths within this insane pulse of energy coming from a cme off like i said the right side of the sun we discussed this a little bit yesterday but as we move into the 10th you're going to see another one we had this one that just shot out to that bottom left hand of the sun we're going to backtrack that a little bit and take a closer look at it frame by frame just just take a look at the power and the amount of solar wind and particles that come out of these things. Now, as I mentioned, we've had a third, and that was today on the 11th. We're going to move forward. Some of the data has not fully processed yet, but you're going to be able to see the beginning of it right here. And this is the one I want to talk about because this is coming from a particular area we spoke about just yesterday and warned people about to keep a close eye on because it is the closest sunspot or grouping of sunspots spots that is currently earth facing so let's finish out this video that's the data we have for now for those of you wondering what this little thing is down here that looks like some sort of ninja weapon flying across the sky it's actually the planet mercury making its way across the front end of the sun in front of the earth so as we move forward into time you could see mercury is kind of following our path and of course this is not to scale but again i've had some questions about what we're seeing on those lasco cams and that is the the transit of Mercury in front of our sun. So very quickly, once again, we'll backtrack to the ninth. You could see Mercury right there, kind of making its way into the screen as we speak. We move forward into time and then boom, one explosion. I'll show you the charts on these and show you how they became M-class solar flares. As we finish through the ninth into the 10th, we see Mercury kind of skip a little bit. We lost a little bit of time with this data. In fact, if I backtrack here, it goes from one hour, 25 minutes and skips all the way to 1648 which means we lost 15 hours of data for whatever reason on our satellite cameras and then one more time i'll just follow it through you can kind of get an idea of where mercury is now and then we're looking at this final cme release and now we're going to talk about where exactly that came from so as we talked about in the last three days starting on april 9th then we had one on the 10th and now we had a recent one here on april 11th all basically m-class solar flares the first of which just touching that line of m class but that does not take away the fact that it is putting that pressure on the earth and when we see these rapid cmes happening that means this energy is piling on and is continuously putting that pressure on the earth's magnetic field which in turn is why we see large earthquakes why we see weather changes all sorts of things we discussed this in the video from yesterday which i highly recommend you go watch because it explains a lot about what we're seeing today now now here on Helio Viewer, this is what we were using to show that CME that took place, that X-Class solar flare that took place a few days ago, came off that left limb of the sun. And again, that is going to be making its way towards Earth facing. But the interesting part is that the latest CME we had came from this grouping of sunspots, which is cause for concern because now this is actually becoming Earth facing and any energy that comes out of this sunspot right here. In fact, this graphic right here gives us a better idea. So yesterday, when we were discussing that X-Class solar flare, that was sunspot 3276, again, making its way towards the center of the sun, which will be more of a threat to the Earth in the coming days. But we just today had that CME release from this sunspot or this big grouping of sunspots. Take a look at the grouping we have here, which is named sunspot 3272. That is the one that produced the most recent CME that was indeed Earth-facing. Now, before I show you that, in real time i just want to go over something really quickly we have not seen any very significant earthquakes as of yet but after seeing that cme that released from today and then counting the one from yesterday we're expecting to feel that energy to begin hitting earth as early as even a couple hours from now and now if you take that with the fact that we just had yet another m-class solar flare this one's going to arrive at earth within the next day day and a half it's going to compact with the one that we had just yesterday on the 10th so 
rather than just having one CME and then waiting that two to three days for the energy to hit, we've now had three in basically 24 hour intervals that are all going to play a part in enhancing that solar wind speed. So what that means, as I show you the graphics from these actual CMEs, which I know is a lot to take in, the most important bit of information we need to realize is that these are coming in close enough intervals to where we're going to be feeling the pressure of three of these M class solar flares and time and time again we've seen right here on this channel that's when we see the uptick in earthquakes and all sorts of other disruptions on earth all right my friends i hope that wasn't too hard to absorb if you need to go back and watch some of this video please feel free to do so i would love to hear your thoughts down below about what you think may be taking place here or what might happen as a result of all this energy hitting earth because we are absolutely hitting a period of time of very high solar activity and that's going back all the way to the turkey earthquake which was during a major solar storm all right my friends i appreciate each and every one of you i hope you have a good rest of your evening shout out to canada and you know i'll see you all in the next video take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click, click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed